This right here is a $110 paintbrush from Lucas Pro Tools. This is their Pro Finish, and it's a two and a half inch brush. It has a beach handle, has 100% Chinex bristles, and it's a seamless ferrule, and it's just a really nice looking brush. But the question is, it looks really nice, but the question is, is it worth $110? So $110 for a paintbrush, you may be thinking, who in the world would even consider that? That's probably more like the DIY mindset, but if you're gonna be painting with this thing every day, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna, this is gonna be the heart and soul of your career to, to be brushing with it, that's a very small price to pay. You know, it's kind of like, you gotta just see the value in it though. And that's what I wanna determine with this thing. I've never used it. How is it gonna compare to a $15 brush like this Purdy XL? That's a two and a half inch brush. And you guys may be thinking, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a trim carpenter. Ever since I've been a finished carpenter, from that day I have also been a painter and it's mostly been brush painting. I just recently, within the last few years, got into airless spraying. Hopefully gonna get into HVLP, HVLP very soon because I've talked to a lot of really pro guys and they say HVLP is where that car door finishes at that you really wanna get. I've probably painted, I would say tens of thousands of linear feet of trim in my little seven year career here. So this right here is a Purdy two and a half inch brush and is this, this one right here will cost you about $15. There's some more that cost, you know, 25. It just depends on what handle you get and everything. But is the value there? You know, how are they gonna perform this one versus the more expensive one? And that's what I wanna determine. This thing though, it feels amazing in your hand. You know, just holding it like that, like if I was gonna be brushing some crown molding, like how we are going to be at this house where I'm gonna be using this brush tomorrow, it feels great in my hand. It already feels better than this one, so that's a win on this already. But, you know, that's gonna be the consumer's, that's gonna be the consumer's decision to make. It'd be nice to get your hands on one and feel it before you can, before you buy it and try it out, but obviously there's no place where you can do that. You're just gonna have to take the plunge and spend the $110 and use it. So will it be worth it? We'll find out. And just while we're talking about brushes, this brand right here, this is the cheapest brand of brush for the best price that I could ever find. This is a brand called Best Lideco or however you say that. But the bristles on this thing are amazing. They're super soft. And this company right here, Best, is actually owned by Purdy. So Purdy is the parent company of this, this brand right here. So I'm, I imagine some of their resources that Purdy has for their brushes are built into this. This brush right here costs, for this big four inch one, $5.99 at the hardware store down the road from my house. It's obviously, you know, not the best built. It has these nails holding in the ferrule. But um, yeah, that's, that's that. I mean, there's a brush there at that hardware store that's the same brand, but it's a two and a half inch, so it, it would be right there with these that's $2.99 and I love that thing so it's crazy I don't know how how if this thing's really going to be worth $110 I'll do my best to let you know everybody has a different opinion but that's the question we will find out when I start painting this crown <laughs> and just before, quick, real quick before we wrap up what you get in the box is a Lucas Pro Tools uh, sticker hashtag tools to treasure um, this brush holder to hold the, or this bristle holder to keep the bristles protected. And um, every brush is gonna have a serial number on it. And then on top of that, you're gonna get the brush holder. So this opens up and that will protect your brush. And that will go in there. And then when you wanna clean it, it has a uh, brush comb. And that'll just, when you're gonna clean the brush, you'll just work the paint out of the bristles and do your thing with that. So there you have it folks. I, uh, I have just shown you a paintbrush that costs $110. My guess is that I am not going to see the value in this brush. That's just my guess. And just being completely honest with you, we will find out tomorrow when 
this trim is ready for paint, I'm actually gonna use this brush and let you know what I think. So I'll post that video tomorrow when I actually use the brush and we'll see how it turns out. So thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see y'all next time. Take care.